All right, here we are. Week eight, we have nine and 10 left. The football field project is due Friday. So I saw most of you submitted already, so that's good. New project today is on working drawings. So you have to come up with an assembly to draw. So if you're in SolidWorks, it's a similar project that you're looking for an assembly with, I think I said, um, four pieces in this class. So <laughs> let's see here. Yeah, four of them, four parts. So you're looking for something that is four parts that are put together, right? That you can draw. So not too simple, not too hard. Don't take it apart. Estimate size if you have to, that kind of thing. Same as the other one. Um, but it should start with what we call an assembly drawing, and that's this thing. So the parts of this are, it shows the object in assembled form. Most of the time, if it's complicated, you'll need a section view for it, right? This one has two views, it has a side view and a section view. Remember a section view is where you slice through it, and then you hatch in the areas that are materials, and you want to change the hatching for each different part that kind of gives it this feel where some hatching goes right, some hatching goes left, like this concrete wheel, they concrete hatched, right? So the top page of a working drawing set is the assembly. It should also list out the parts. You will not have this many parts. You'll have four parts or five or six, if they're simple, right? Uh, it also lists out the quantity, uh, you know, it gives it a number so you can see it in the assembly, that kind of thing. So this is what we're looking for in the top page, the assembly drawing, and it's like a map to the rest of the drawings, right? So uh, this maybe is drawing number over here. I don't think so, that's probably quantity. Sometimes there's drawing number, like on these really deep assemblies. So you could just go straight to the drawing that you wanted to look at. Yours is gonna be five pages or more. Um, so it's it's not as important that you call out the actual page number, but you can, like part three is on page four kind of thing, right? So then whoever looks at the drawing package could go quickly to the detail. So assembly on the top, here's another assembly. Um, this one, they didn't put any dimensions on. Usually you put like overall dimensions on to kind of get a feel for the size of the thing. Uh, I would do that. So it should have some dimensions. This one doesn't have, I think it got chopped off. Doesn't have the index. We definitely want this, this information here telling us the name of the part, maybe what the part's made out of, uh, number of the part, and this could be quantity if there's multiple of the same part. It would have a quantity. All right. Here's another one, just an idea of how to do an assembly. Uh, this one's like a partial section. Part of it's cut, part of it's not cut, uh, showing the individual parts. So that's the goal. Then a detailed drawing for each part, and that's an orthographic projection. We've been doing front top side, front top right side. That's fine. If it's like a round part, like a shaft or something, that doesn't need three views. Just do a side view and an end view. So you can decide what views you need for the parts and then just draw those parts. Okay. So detail drawing for each part. So we're looking at an assembly drawing that's going to show at least four parts, could be more. And then detailed drawings back behind, right, of each part, fully dimensioned. So uh, this says each drawing should have the same title block, including the assembly. Uh, the assembly also has that quantity index title block. Uh, we want to use B-size paper, um, dimension text 125, named views 0.25, and then any notes that you add on, just keep them at an eighth inch. Um, it'll be an assembly view and then detailed drawings. Often that's an orthographic 
three view drawing, but maybe less if it's not necessary. So the drawing pack is going to be at least five drawings, because if you have at least four parts, that's four details, and then an assembly on top, that's five. Okay, and we're going to print them in the end. So what you need is to upload PDFs, and then I'll do the printing. We'll print them out and have a drawing pack. Questions? You got to pick your assembly. Um, there's objects here that are not like, you know, this stock cam is actually not a bad, it's not too complicated. It's an assembly. Definitely has more than four parts, but they're a little bit simple. But if you just look around the room, you'll find something or your house, you'll find something. Again, don't make it too complicated. If it is complicated, like I think I showed the, I don't know where the scissors went. I showed the scissors the other day in SolidWorks. And it's, you know, it's five, six parts, but it's pretty complicated. The scissor handle is complicated. So if you choose something that has a lot of complex curves or shapes, you can simplify it. You can box it up a little bit. So careful, be careful what you choose. Questions? It's just working more with AutoCAD, putting together a working drawing set. This should be like, in my opinion, this is like the portfolio piece. So if you do a really nice job, print a copy, when it comes time to interview for a job, they'll say, I see you do AutoCAD, what are your skills? I'm all about not telling them my skills, but showing them, right? You could just whip out a portfolio and say, yeah, this is what I've done in SolidWorks. This is what I've done in AutoCAD. So this is a working drawing set. Pretty valuable for industry type folks to see that you can pull that together. All right, that's it. So the calendar, this is gonna go until, this project is gonna go until the sixth, right? So I'll be here on the fourth for class, but we're just gonna work on this project. So it's up to you whether you come or not on the fourth. And then on the sixth, we'll do one more project that will be another week long project and then that'll end it. We'll be done. Okay, we'll use that last one that will start on the 6th. You'll probably turn it in on the 20th of finals week and that'll be your final. So no like come in and take a test, but just deliver the final drawing. All right, that's it. Easy peasy, come on.